I'm leaving Los Angeles. Yeah. <laughs>for a while you probably remember my insane era my mentally ill era my absolute cracked out wacko era well it's been a minute since then we have grown it's I have grown. Maybe not so much in like clout, but my mental health, my physical health, my emotional health. I have grown and I have changed. I would say it's for the better. I mean look where we came from. <laughs> I mean <laughs> <laughs> Guess who's off their medication? I moved to Los Angeles, specifically West Hollywood in January of 2022. I drove from Minnesota all the way to Los Angeles in my Chevy Malibu with my cat and my friend from college and we road tripped it the entire way. Keep in mind, I lived in a small central Minnesota town of like 4,000 people my entire life. And then I moved to Hollywood. So as you can imagine, I was absolutely freaking shocked. But girl, was I living outside of the time of my life. <laughs> but it soon became way too much for me, like pretty quickly into me living in Hollywood. I got overwhelmed pretty darn quick. <laughs> so eight months into my lease in Hollywood, I moved out of Hollywood. I'm like just outside of Los Angeles now. It's like a healthy like 40 minutes away from Hollywood. The third dead body was found on our apartment complex property and I skedaddled out of there. I'm just like, there's no way I can stay here. I literally couldn't take it anymore. There was like crime happening right in front of my apartment complex every single day. And I just, I couldn't even do it. I like was too scared to leave my apartment at some point. I couldn't even use our, like, our pool because someone broke in with a <laughs> At like 3 p.m. on like a freaking Wednesday. A homeless man did steal my Wendy's directly out of my hands at the pool. I don't know how he got there. I don't know how he broke in, but it happened all the freaking time. Like our packages got stolen and all that stuff. So Hollywood was just not for me, baby. I left. Why did I even move to LA in the first place? I feel like I should explain that to you guys. I wanted to further my influencer social media career. <laughs> It's Los Angeles for Pete's sake. It's like influencer central. Being in LA has its perks with events, PR, and networking. So I moved to LA in hopes of becoming more successful. I can say that is exactly what happened. I'm very, very proud of myself that my time here, I have become more successful. I've become a better businesswoman. I haven't grown much like in the realm of like clout and stuff like that. I'm like a dinosaur on TikTok. I've been on there since it was musically. But in the realm of like being more successful, I have accomplished that while I'm here. So I have completed my goal. It is crazy though that I came to LA, a place that never seems to sleep, that's always going, is constantly partying and having stuff going on. I thought that moving from Minnesota and going to someplace so chaotic and crazy like LA that I was gonna completely lose myself. But I did the exact opposite. I completely found myself while I was here. I definitely had my crazy party phase when I first moved out to LA for like six months. I mean, I still party here and there, but not like every single freaking night like I was. And then I realized that this is not sustainable in a place like LA. LA is already expensive enough. You throw a party addiction in there, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, honey. I started my weight loss and health journey and then I moved out of Hollywood. That's like what happened. I had like my health and like weight loss journey six months in after like my party phase started like fizzle out like a tiny bit and then that's when i moved out of hollywood like two months after and i've been in the same area for like the past like year and a half or so so what happened in la well i've been here i networked i got uh, i healed mentally and then i got over it <laughs> like la i got over la even though i am not living in the heart of la anymore i'm still very much involved in la life because i am an influencer i don't attend as many events anymore like movie premieres like red carpet events and all that stuff because like i was doing them so much and now now that I'm like 40 minutes away from it all, I'm like, oh, it's not worth the drive. Because those events are fun and I'm so, so grateful that I got to go to all of them while I've been here. But like, I mean, you get burnt out on them pretty quick. I like quiet. I like peace. Yeah! I like having nothing to do. You know what I mean? I like familiarity. I like going into Target and not worrying about someone running around with a hatchet in the tampon aisle. You know, that actually did happen. I went to Target and I, uh, man, broke in with a hatchet and I had to download Instacart because I was too scared to go grocery shopping. That was when I was in Hollywood. Now I'm outside of there and now I go to the grocery store all the time and it's fun. Oh, I almost got too. That was bad. Can I say on YouTube? I almost got <laughs> happened right in front of me and it was like 30 seconds after someone got hit by a car right next to me, a pedestrian. Not fun. My soft heart can't handle that stuff. Obviously that stuff is not happening as frequently where I'm living now because I moved away from it. And if it was just like that, I would not be here right now. But there are still definitely some shenanigans that like I'm not used to that happening here. So why do I want to leave California? I want to leave Cali, but I don't. I want to live in Cali, but I don't. You know, it's 
so conflicting in my brain because I'm so terrified that like when I move, I'm going to be like having the worst FOMO of my entire life. <laughs> Because where I'm from and where I'm going back to, there is not nearly as much stuff to do as there is in California. But I'm in California now and I'm not doing the things that I'm saying I'm going to miss. Like I'm not going to as many events as I'm talking about. I'm not going to so many things that LA has and I'm not using those resources that I have in LA now, which is why I wanna go back to where I'm from. But then I'm thinking when I go back to where I'm from, I'm gonna miss the things that I'm not even using right now. How does that make sense? It doesn't, it literally doesn't. So I'm so scared I'm gonna have like FOMO and I'll be like, oh my gosh, what am I gonna do if I can't get in and out three times a week? We don't have it now. This is so hard. My brain is just fighting with itself, but I know for a fact, like when I'm back home and I'm having a bad day and I'm missing Los Angeles, I'll be able to drive to my parents' house and hang out with them. And then I'll be like, ah, oh, okay. This is why I moved back. I never even thought I was ever gonna leave California. I thought that once I was here, I was like, okay, yeah, this is where I'm staying for the rest of my life. I did not even think this was gonna happen until like a few months ago when I brought my parents to a KISS concert at the Hollywood Bowl. And the day that they left, one would have thought they freaking died. And all they were doing was flying back home, but they left and I said goodbye and I gave them a hug and I seriously was in a horrible depressive state for like two days afterwards. I couldn't stop crying. You literally would have thought that my mom and dad died. And so after that trip, I was like, I can't deal with this anymore. Like I can't deal with them like being gone in my heart, literally feeling things being ripped out of my chest and stomped on the ground and put into a meat grinder and hit with a baseball bat and then chopped up into a million pieces and eaten with a fork. That's what it feels like. And I can't feel like that anymore. So that is the main reason why I am moving out of California is to be by my mommy and my dad. I love them so much. It sucks having such great parents <laughs> because I have such a wonderful, beautiful relationship with my parents that it makes it so hard to be away. Ooh, I got a big boo-boo. Pardon. Mm, my mama. I wish my mama was here to kiss it better. Pretty soon in a couple months, she will be. After that KISS concert trip, I realized that I have not felt at home in over two years because I can't seem to flourish at my full potential being away from my family. I have zero relatives in California. I am like over a thousand miles away from the nearest family member and it sucks. My sisters are my best friends. My mom and my dad are my best friends. I absolutely adore my family. I have the most beautiful family dynamic like ever. And I almost feel like a bad person for not being near them when I am so lucky to have that because so many people in life, they don't have the fortune that I have of having a beautiful, loving, functional family. And so I feel like me being away from all that is almost just like, what are you doing? You know, I don't know. I wish that I could like have two of me, but be like fully aware. And that way I could be by my family and also in California so I can like be in two places at once. Why didn't I just say that? I just literally made that so much more difficult and it's already an existing saying. I have friends and people here that I care deeply about in California and I know that it is going to hurt when I move. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. So yeah, I'm going back home. Not my hometown, screw that with a big fat Phillips. Is that what it's called? The screwdriver? I'm not really sure. Yes. Anyways, part of me feels like a failure for leaving LA, I'm not gonna lie, because I feel like there's like a stigma about moving to LA. In order to be considered successful, you have to stay in LA. But contrary to popular belief, I did become more successful in LA and I wanna take my success back home because I don't need to be in LA to be successful. Everything that I do is completely remote and it does not depend on me being in LA. Events and stuff and drop of the hat stuff that you get like from a text from a manager, like, hey, like, do you wanna meet Post Malone at Urban Outfitters down the street tonight? Like stuff like that, that I'm not gonna be able to do if I'm not in LA. And I'm really, really good on this set. But that is not a factor in my success. If anything, I'm probably gonna feel more successful back home because my dollar is gonna go so much further. Everything is expensive nowadays, but rent, transportation, food, taxes, everything is so much more in Los Angeles. It is so much more. You have to pay to fart here. It's incredible. Like I'm baffled by how they even come up with the stuff that they do here. And also a perk of me moving back is that there's so many more smaller businesses and I won't be competing against so many influencers in LA. Not that I'm like actively like competing now, but like in influencer land, there's a lot of competition and like some people are getting brand deals instead of what I would get, you know what I mean? Because they have more followers because I'm literally living in the same area as freaking Kim Kardashian. So it'll be nice too, like when I go back, like I will be able to help a lot more small businesses, not so much franchise stuff. Also another reason why I want to move out of LA and out of California in general is the prices of houses. Houses are seriously so expensive here. I compared a thousand square foot house with like two stories here in California and it is the same 
same price as a five bedroom, four bath, basically mansion back in my home state. And I'm thinking about, I'm just like, oh my gosh, I do not want to be spending literally like $600,000 on basically a shoe box that's like a hundred years old and probably has bugs and rats where I can get something gorgeous and brand new construction back home. I just, I can't justify spending that kind of money on something that I don't like. And I know that I can get something that I do like. And also my family will be able to visit and see it. Like I have been in California for like over two and a half years and my sisters haven't even seen where I live. So I'm like thinking about if I get a house, my family isn't even gonna see it. So I don't know. And they won't be able to like come over for dinner or something like that. Like I wanna be like, hey, like I made too much chili. Do you wanna come over for dinner? And they'd be like, yeah. Whereas in California, if I'm here in my house making chili and I have too much of it, no one's gonna eat it and I'm gonna throw it away. I want a house and I don't see myself ever being able to afford a nice house in California. And it's not gonna feel like home ever. I know it 100% because I'm gonna be sharing a backyard with somebody. There's gonna be a rat in my basement, a rat in the tub. I've had two rats in this apartment here and it's so freaking expensive. And my AC went out for like 11 days. There was a mouse in the hallway last night. I saw it and it took the elevator. What? I can't even, no. I can't and I'm paying so much money. So I'm thinking about the money that I would be saving moving back to my home state could be put towards a house, a very nice house. Whereas in California, I'm gonna be renting till the day I die. I did so much rambling on this, so much yapping, but I know I've been talking a lot about it on Snapchat, which by the way, if you are not subscribed to me on Snapchat, Hope Schwing, go sub. I post in there every single day. It's like a vlog for you to enjoy every single day. And we're a bunch of little crumbs. We love each other in our crumbalicious little crumb world. Oh my gosh, also crumb merch coming soon. Actually, factually. I know I keep talking about it and we haven't seen it yet, but it's actually factually coming. Oh my gosh, I'm literally going crazy. <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, I hope I'm just not like manic or something and I'm like making like life altering decisions off of like an itch that I need to be scratched or something like that. But also it's family, so I feel like family never goes away. So like, like, I don't really know. I don't know. But anyways, I am much more mentally sound. <laughs> and I feel like the only missing part to my full happiness and wholeness as a person is being able to see my family whenever I want. My soul needs it. LA is not a soul fulfilling place. I feel like, yes, I have become the best version of myself while here, but my soul is not thriving in LA. It's really not. Having that family aspect will get me there. I'm probably going crazy. I'm probably having a, an episode. Hopefully I'm making the right decision. I think that I am. In the long run, it'll be better. But yeah, anyways, um, sorry this wasn't like a very like, <laughs> like happy fun video. I'm a little bit like torn about this decision that I'm making. I'm so, so happy to be moving back in close proximity to my family. But oh my gosh, I would be a big fat liar if I didn't say I'm gonna miss California. Oh my gosh, I can't make this. I'm sad. No, I'm sad. But yeah, I'm gonna miss California, but I'm happy that I'm leaving something that I'm going to miss. I want good memories associated with what I'm leaving behind so I can like look back on it and reminisce about good times and everything like that. I'm like ready for this next chapter of my life, but I'm really not. You know what I mean? I say you know what I mean too much. I'm sorry. <laughs> my mom and my dad are gonna be in for a treat when I move back because I'm gonna be coming over every single day crying on their couch. <laughs> I do not think that I would have signed the moving deposit if I was not making the right decision. But yeah, um... This is awkward and I'm crying. Ew, wah. what the frick? This isn't black haired septum ring tattooed girl of me. Stay tuned for this moving process that's coming up in a couple months. I need to go apartment hunting literally like this month. So I got to schedule a trip back. But yeah, stay tuned. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe and tap the bell below so you don't miss another video. I definitely would do that for the upcoming months. It's going to get entertaining and it's going to get emotional and it's going to get busy and it's going to get crazy and you're going to want to see it. Thanks for listening to me app about my crazy life choices. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.